Hello, this is Gary Wishon, the Happy Heathen. I may be wrong, but I think a lot of people forgot that the anniversary for the LGBT community getting the equal rights to marry. It's one year now. The anniversary came and went. I'm often amazed by the courage they have to be themselves. In the face of all this religious bullshit they went through, and they're still going through, in some states they're still fighting against it, but it's a losing fucking battle. It shows, it shows the religious wrongs, weakness, intellectually, emotionally, and the greatest thing about it for me, even though I'm not gay or anything of the various letters, is that the religious wrong in this country invested all their credibility, everything and it blew up in their face. By now, according to them, a year ago, we should be hit like with a meteor by now, or I don't know. The, the stories went so fucking crazy, it was just absurdities into the tenth power. I mean, damn, not one sign of God displeasure. God's hand's going to be removed. His protection will not be around to save us. Wow, the, he did a great job in 9-11. Religion thrives on fear. And in America, they always had something to scare you with. Communism, other, raci other races, whether it be African American, Latino, Finally, the last bastion, the last thing that they always counted on to get asses in the seat. Homosexuality. Lesbianism. That blew up right in their fucking face. Because a year later, no one's taken that serious anymore. There's churches that are inclusive to the LGBTQ community. As well they should be. Oh, right now there's pastors who in the past probably fought tooth and nail against this. And now they're going like, what, what, what? I, What, huh? Not everyone is a Stephen L. Anderson. Fuck that, that, that fucking bastard. That segment of religion is shrinking because religious authorities do what they've always done what I've always said and what Mark Twain said after each battle they fight they come up at the end of the parade victory parade and scream we won and now we have the internet no one's forgetting anything Ever again. What you put on the internet, it will stay on the internet forever. Oh, they're... what's left for them to try to scare us with? Bathrooms didn't work. Gay marriage is gone. What? Islam? We're kind of hitting an equal equilibrium there. Hell, what they wouldn't give to find a way to try to scare everyone was atheism. I'm sure that's next. They'll try to come up with something. Because that's the only way religion thrives. And to the LGBTQ community out there at large, it was beautiful. To see your victory. 
Till next time. Goodbye.